Hi all, it's Elliot J back again with Conquer Statistics. So what we're going to do is find descriptive statistics. And before we're able to do that, we're going to have to add in uh, two separate add-ins. How you do that is you click File. Once you're at File, hit Options. From Options, click on Add-ins. From Add-ins, hit Manage, and then Excel Add-ins. And once you have it like this, click Go. And then now pick what you want. And the two ones I suggest you add right now are the analysis tool pack and the solver add-in, as these will help you right now and they'll also be helpful for you in the future. Once you click OK, you'll have two new options once you click on the data tab. So click on the data tab and then you'll have this data analysis and this solver. So for this, um, you should hit the data analysis and then click on descriptive statistics and hit OK. First thing you do is you select your input range. So these are the values that you want to use. Once you've done that, you click your output range, which is where you want the values to be posted once you have your descriptive statistics. So anywhere over here is great and hit close, and then you choose which descriptive statistic output options you want. So absolutely, first click on the summary statistics because generally that's what is most important. Also, the confidence level for the mean. And if you need more stuff, you may click on these. From now, you just click OK, and then out comes the descriptive statistics. So in this experiment, what they were looking at was stress levels, and now they correlated to credit hours of how much school people were taking. So this data here is stress. So you can change the name of this to stress. And that's how you get descriptive statistics in Excel 2016. Thanks for watching.